The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III, manufactured in the United States, is a four-engine T-tail cargo aircraft with a rear loading ramp. The C-17 is one of the most flexible military transport aircraft in service worldwide. Designed to fulfill a variety of airlift needs for military and humanitarian missions, the C-17 can carry cargo and personnel across long distances directly to small austere airfields anywhere in the world. With 72.6 tons or 160,000 pounds of cargo, the C-17 can take off from a 2,133 meter or 7,000 feet airfield, fly unrefueled for a maximum distance of 4,400 kilometers or 2,400 nautical miles, and land in 900 meters or 3,000 feet on a small unpaved or paved airfield in day or night. Thanks to its countermeasure systems, it can also enter environments with an elevated air threat level. The aircraft can refuel while in flight from a tanker aircraft, extending its range significantly. The C-17 can transport a variety of payloads such as palletized or oversized cargo, vehicles or personnel. Its cargo compartment has a loadable width of 5.5 meters and a maximum height of 4.5 meters or 14.76 feet that enables cargo or vehicles to be placed in typically two rows up to a length of 20.78 meters or 68.18 feet. The cargo ramp enables vehicles to drive directly into the aircraft from ground level and can then be used as extra cargo space when retracted. The full C-17 payload can consist of a maximum of 18 463 L cargo pallets. Normal troop seating is accomplished with 54 fixed sidewall seats and a 48 centerline cargo floor seats. For special configurations a maximum seating combination using sidewall seats and 9C pallets will support up to 188 passengers. The strategic airlift capability C-17s can transport a wide variety of tracked or wheeled vehicles used by the SAC partner nations such as 1M1 main battle tanker infantry fighting vehicles including the Bradley, CV-90 and Strecker. Three combat-ready Strucker infantry fighting vehicles comprise one full load. The C-17 can also transport helicopters. A full C-17 load can comprise of two A-60 Black Hawk utility military helicopters. If a suitable area for landing is not available, the C-17 can also deliver its cargo by airdrop. The C-17 can drop 102 paratroopers plus eight equipment bundles, a single 27.2-ton or 60,000 pounds payload or sequential load drops of 49.9 tons or 110,000 pounds via aerial delivery. The C-17 can be operated with a minimum crew of two pilots and one loadmaster. Depending on the demands of individual missions the crew can also be amended with other personnel, such as the Flying Crew Chief, FCC, a specialist of the maintenance of the technical systems of the aircraft. The C-17 offers its crew a modern work environment with systems that significantly reduce the workload of operating the complex aircraft. An essential part of them is the cockpit avionics suite that displays flight and systems information on four multifunction active matrix crystal displays and two head-up displays HUD, that show essential flight information. The aircraft avionics permit the pilots to execute airdrop to a precise ground location. Information on parachute ballistics, weather and various other parameters are fed directly into the navigation computer for guidance to an exact release point. The aircraft is controlled through an electronic flight control system that converts pilot inputs to movements of the wing and tail control surfaces. It is backed up by a mechanical system in case of a technical failure. When there is a need to operate in an environment with low level of light the crew can use night vision goggles and VG that enable them to see in conditions approaching total darkness. An important part of the versatility of the C-17 comes from its combination of efficient power plants and advanced aerodynamic design. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW100 engines, each rated at 179.9 kN or 40,400 pounds of thrust. The wings of the C-17 follow a hypercritical design that includes an externally blown flap system. The system uses engine exhaust that is directed to the flaps to create an accelerated airflow that reduces landing speed and hence landing distance. The engines are equipped with thrust reversers, adjustable elements that direct the engine exhaust for different purposes. The thrust reversers direct thrust forward and up in a concentrated manner. After landing, reversers help to slow the aircraft. They also allow the C-17 to taxi backwards even at maximum gross weight up a 2% slope giving it maximum versatility on small austere airfields. The engine thrust reversers can also be deployed in flight to slow down the aircraft making it possible to carry out an approach to an airfield with a steep angle and at a slow speed thus avoiding threats of a lower flying altitude and enabling an accurate touchdown to a runway with limited space. The engine thrust not only enables the C-17 to reach a cruise speed of over 0.74 Mach 906 km per hour, but also allows the aircraft to fly very slowly. 
The basic design of the C-17 is derived from the IC-15, a four-engine cargo jet experimental aircraft the McDonnell Douglas Corporation developed in the late 1970s as a proposal to meet the United States Air Force USAF, requirement for the Advanced Medium Stole Transport Project AMST, that sought for a replacement for the lighter Lockheed C-130 tactical transport aircraft. The AMST program was eventually cancelled, but the IC-15 formed the basis for McDonnell Douglas's proposal for the USAF CX program looking for a replacement for the larger Lockheed C-141 Starlifter cargo jet. The C-17 won the CX contest. It made its maiden flight in 1991, and proved to be a capable airlifter from the beginning. During flight testing 33 world records were set, more than any other airlifter in history. USAF declared the first C-17 squadron operational in January 1995. During his first years of service the aircraft quickly established an impressive track record. It supported successfully numerous military, peacekeeping, and humanitarian operations all around the world, first flying missions for USAF, and later to an expanding community of international users. In 1997, McDonnell Douglas was merged with the Boeing Company, and the C-17 was redesignated as the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. The strategic airlift capability decided to join the C-17 user community in 2008. The three SAC C-17 aircraft were built at the Boeing Long Beach Manufacturing Plant in California. SAC-01 made its first flight on July 1, 2009, and was delivered to its operator, the heavy airlift wing on July 14, 2009. SAC-02 followed it in September and SAC-03 in October the same year. Alongside the strategic airlift capability, C-17 users in the order of fleet size operated by them include the United States Air Force, the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force, Royal Australian Air Force, the United Arab Emirates Air Force and Air Defense Qatar Emiri Air Force, Indian Air Force, the Royal Canadian Air Force and the Kuwait Air Force. In total, Boeing has delivered 260 C-17 aircraft that have amassed more than 2.6 million flight hours. At the core of the support to the C-17 weapon system is SAC backquotes membership in the C-17 virtual fleet. One common technical configuration of the aircraft of all C-17 users allows parts and personnel to be exchanged between aircraft of individual countries and the strategic airlift capability which creates one worldwide operating fleet of C-17s.